out of the way here. Okay, so as you can see, the stamps actually put an impression in on the velvet. And that's what makes it so unique to do. And Anne's Flourish stamps uh, that she has in this stamp set, I'm going to show you guys those in just a second, are just absolutely stunning on this um, with this technique. So I was really excited to try it. Um, and I was telling her, I can't wait to, to show you uh, what I want to do with this. So there you go. Okay. So let me set that off to the side. And then we're going to get started here. Okay. So as I said, the stamps that I used to create this project, okay, um, Anne has two, she has a, a background of the flourish, which, you know, is a full background. It'll cover an A2 size. And that is the stamp that I used, that I'm going to show you guys today, that I used on the other project. And then this set is the one where she has the um, two inch stamp and then she's got the triangle and then the, um, I can't remember what we call this stamp and I can't remember what we call it. But anyways, that and then a one inch and then a one inch triangle. And just, they're just absolutely beautiful. Can you guys see them? Look at this. Okay, let me show you the, the actual stamps. Okay, this is the big stamp that I'm going to be using today. But the design on here is just stunning. Okay, so to create the project that I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be kind of jumping back and forth with the two different projects um, because I do want to let you know how to do the big pillow um, but I didn't want to have to sew and, and everything, so that's why I'm doing a smaller project too. But to start off, to start off with the project, what you're going to need is obviously some velvet. Now, the most important thing about velvet stamping is that you get the right velvet. It has to be an acetate rayon, okay? And it's the expensive stuff. So, um... You know, when you go, you can get it um, a lot of times with a 40% coupon. Because this is like $17.99 a yard. You know, sometimes even more like at Joann's or Hobby Lobby, one of those places. Um, but you can also always get like a 40% 40 40 coupon. You don't need a whole lot of fabric to do it. So if you get a, a yard of it, you, you could be making... I think Anne said like 10 pillows. <laughs> now, let me start off by saying I am not a seamstress by any means at all. But I wanted to tell you because that is the most important step in the velvet stamping. Okay, so what I did for the pillow, because the pillow and what I'm going to show you today, it, it's the same technique. Okay, but I have, you know, a couple tips that I want to share with you. Anytime when I do uh, any type of fabric project, I always want to take my template and I stamp my template out before I before I put it on my fabric. Okay, so with the velvet, with the uh, pillow stamp, what I did was I created this heart um, and it's about 11 by 10 inches. It's about, you know, about that. And then I just stamped the two inch stamp that Anne has, the flourish stamp, the two inch. And I just set my design out how I wanted it. So I wanted to share that with you because to me that is a great tip, especially if you're you're afraid to, you know, mess fabric up, which is why I started doing this to begin with. Because when I first started working with fabric and stamping fabric, I would get very afraid and you know when you're paying this much for you know for a fabric project you want to make sure that it's a nice project and I you know so I started it by doing this okay so with the project that I'm doing today that I'm sharing with you today I did the same thing okay I created this little 
heart template Okay, and then I used the larger stamp and stamped on it, so I wanted to make sure that it was going to cover the whole thing. So what you do then is you take your template. This is about a five inch uh, heart, okay? You can get these patterns anywhere. You can get a heart pattern anywhere. Um, but if, you know, if you have trouble and, you know, you want one, let me know and I'll try and scan this one out and then I can, um, I can share it if you guys ask okay so just let me know okay let me switch over here real quick oh hi hi Lisa I saw that Lisa popped in well I had my head down okay so what you want to do is you want to start off by taking your template and putting it on your fabric your velvet and then you want to cut it out okay and then you're done with that. So then the next thing, let me make sure my iron is nice and hot. And yes, it is. Okay, so the next thing you want to use an iron. And if your iron has holes in it, and you'll see that mine does have holes in it, you want to avoid the holes. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a hot iron. This, you know, you want to put it on a hot setting with no steam, okay? You want a dry iron because you're going to add some water to your fabric and that's how you're going to get your impression. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do, once you have your template cut out, I mean your fabric cut out with how you, you know, how you want it. Let me grab a paper towel here. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do, and this is what I'm saying is so, so very, very simple. Okay, so I used the larger flourish stamp on this smaller one. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some water and don't saturate your velvet. Okay, you don't want to saturate it. You just want to spray it lightly. Let me get my sprayer to work here. Okay, there we go. Get that mess off of my table here. Okay, and then you're gonna lay the stamp down face up. And then you're gonna take your velvet and lay your velvet on top of the stamp. Okay, and you're going to lay it the right side down. So in other words, you're gonna lay it with the velvet side down. Okay, so you're gonna take that and then take your iron and you're gonna set your iron onto the image just like this. And you're gonna count about 10 seconds, okay, in each area that you're stamping. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then we're going to stamp here. Okay, and when you when you iron this, I'm saying stamping, but when you iron this on, you want to make sure that you go just up and down with your iron. You do not want to um, go around with it because then you're going to move your velvet and then your pattern is going to get moved. Okay, so you do, do this until... The whole area that you want covered on your project is covered. All right, so we're going to make sure. Let's see, let's go over this one one more time. Okay, I hope my iron was hot enough. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, so then. When you flip it over, this is what you get. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so when you're doing this, when I did the pillow, because I'm going to switch back over to the pillow real quick. When I did the pillow, I used the smaller 2-inch, as I showed you guys here. Okay, and then... I stamped it all over and then I sewed it. I left, you know, about a two inch opening and then I used my polyfill inside and then I just added 
the lace around it and added the flowers on top. So that's how simple this is to create. So I wanted to make sure that I tell you guys how to do the pillow also with this project. Okay, so, all right, now I know Anne said, okay, not sure if it would work, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, and this, it worked perfectly. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do then with this, now you're going to cut out two pieces of fabric, okay? And the front side is the front, is the side you're going to emboss. And then for this little heart, what I did was I added, you know, the backing on it, the, the other side of the velvet. And for this, I did not sew it, okay? Because like I said, I'm not a sewer. I do know how to sew, but I don't do it a lot. And so I wanted to show you too that you could also use um, some fabric glue. So let me, and I used the uh, Fabri-Tac from Beacon Adhesives. I love this, it works absolutely fabulous. Okay, so what I did then was I put the right sides together and then I glued all the way around and then left this little opening here for the stuffing. And then what I'm going to do is take the stuffing from this big bag that I have here And then you're just gonna add some stuffing inside. Okay, now for this little heart, what you can do for this little heart is you can take this, um, Anne came up with this idea and she, uh, she shared it with me, um, but take it and once you have it stuffed, put some potpourri or something like that on it and then you can uh, hang it as a sachet or put it in a drawer or something like that to um, make your clothes smell pretty. Or even hanging on a, a doorknob in a room. But see, we used the, the polyfill and then I just stuffed it here. There we go. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I love polyfill. It makes everything so much nicer to do when you're using doing fabric projects. All right. So I have my little tool here, my little stick, so I can make sure that my, I get my polyfill all in the right places that I want it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then once you have it this size, and you've got it all, you've got it all stuffed, then what you're going to do is just turn these edges over and we're gonna add some fabric glue there to close this off. Okay, so you're gonna put it on the outside and then turn both of those sides in. Okay, it gets a little bit messy and of course I'm doing it in a hurry. So I'm making it even messier. All right, and then you just close it off, okay? I made a mess of it here, guys, but you know what I'm doing. You know what to do, okay? So just take it and turn those uh, edges in and give it a glue. And I kind of destroyed mine a little bit, but that's all right. And then to finish it off, then you're just going to take some ribbon, you know, some real pretty ribbon, something like that, and just take it and just add a little hanger on it like this, or put it in the front here, add a hanger on the front, and then maybe add a little flower or something on it too. That would be really, really cute. But it's very simple to do. Fabric stamping is or uh, velvet stamping is so awesome. And I really hope that you guys try this because it is a lot, a lot of fun. And, and again, let me put this stuff away. And again, 
let me show you the pillow one more time. This was done again with the smaller two inch flourish. And then just, I just finished it off. Added a little bit of bow here and there you go. Okay, so that was two projects that I wanted to share with you guys today. And I'm sorry that I kind of butchered my other little heart, but I'm gonna fix that as soon as I'm done here. But very, very cute. I just wanted to make sure that you guys could see how to velvet stamp because it is so much fun to do. And you can get some really beautiful designs. Okay, I do wanna uh, give you a tip though. You wanna always try your stamp out first on a piece of scrap velvet before you do it on your project to make sure that that stamp is going to work. Because a lot of times when you have really intricate stamps, they won't work really well. You won't get a good impression. With Anne's, it was just, it just was perfect. So yeah, it just, it left a beautiful, beautiful impression. Okay, can you use clear stamps as well? Colette, um, you can, but again, try them out first and make sure that, you know, that they're going to work with your project um, because different stamps are made, you know, in different ways. So you have to just make sure that each stamp that you use is going to work well. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. All right, so let me... Hang on one second, guys. Okay. So let me switch cameras here. Oh, okay, there we go. See how fast and easy that was? You can create so, so many beautiful, beautiful projects um, with velvet stamping. And as I said, the main thing to remember is that you use an acetate rayon which is the very expensive velvet okay so you want to you you know use that and then you want to make sure that the stamp that you're going to use is going to work well with the velvet because you know a lot of times as i said you know stamps are made differently i have found that red rubber works the best which is what this and stamps are made with with the clear okay the red rubber I have found does work much better but I have used clear I have used clear so it just depends but you always get a really good impression with red rubber so that I have a tendency to you know go towards that and besides this is and stamp and it's just absolutely gorgeous <laughs> this is one of my favorites I love it okay so that is it for me today, guys. Um, Anne is going to be, as I said, what time is it? Oh, wow, that was quick. Okay, so she's going to be on in about an hour and a half. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And she's also going to um, announce the winner from last week's project, which Anne is going to be giving away uh her Valentine dig digital stamps for that winner and she's going to announce it on her live at 2 p.m. Central Time, okay? So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I hope it didn't make you crazy because I was doing two different things. <laughs> but I wanted, to sh I wanted to show you that you can use, you know, um, glue if you don't want to sew, okay? I always would prefer the glue, but that's just me because I don't sew that often. But anyways, you know. All right, you guys. So that's it for me today. Uh, join me again next week. I'll be back. Same time, same place. Uh, until then, have an awesome week. Stay healthy, stay safe, and don't forget to take some time to craft because it's good for your soul. All right, everybody. I'll see you all next week. Take care. Bye.